Congratulations! You just got into the college of your dreams. This is where you'll be spending the next few years of your life. You decide to look up some of the core curriculum your university requires you to take. You notice COM 210, Fundamentals of Public Speaking, must be taken. This has never been your strong suit, but you're excited to learn. You open your textbook on the first day of class after syllabus day and realize the first thing you're going to learn is how to make an outline. Woo! You're already tired of this class. You could literally make an outline about reasons you shouldn't have to relearn this. 1. Learning how to make outlines. Your support? Pointless. Already learned this. Uh, you won't do it anyways. Second, it's boring. You'd rather nap. It's a lot of letters and numbers. But stick with me, everyone, because as much as you think you know, there's still a lot of knowledge you can gain from knowing how to make a proper outline. The first thing you need to decide is if your outline will consist of words, phrases, or full sentences. The top of your outline should have a topic or title, general purpose, specific purpose, and organizational pattern. Your topic is what your presentation will be focused on. The general purpose is the overall reason for your presentation. The specific purpose will be more about particular incidents or reasons you are delivering your speech. And the organizational pattern will be how you choose the, to organize your presentation. By beginning your outline with these components, this will give you clear insight on your presentation and your professor will give you that approving thumbs up. After this step, begin with your introduction. This can vary based on the type of speech you are trying to deliver, but the things listed here are the standard for planning out your speech. Be sure to list out your main points. The next step to your outline is to delve into your body paragraphs. Try to condense your main points, but be sure to add support wherever needed. Lastly, conclude your outline. Briefly review the points you made and provide a strong closing statement. After you've completed your outline, go back and throw in some transitions. This allows for a smoother and better prepared speech. Reminder that my template was an example. It's a template. This is not the only way to make an outline. Make an outline that makes you feel comfortable and prepared. If you follow these steps, you'll be sure to ace that next speech, feel more prepared for presentations in the future, and leave class with a smile on your face.